How to use Grammarly in Google Docs. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how we can use Grammarly in Google Docs from installing it until, you know, we get to the point on how to actually use it in Docs itself. So let's just go ahead and get started. First, you will need to open up a new browser tab. And here I have Docs, but we don't want that for the time being. We want to open up a new tab. And then if you just go ahead and open up your Google.com, sign into your account and just click on Google Apps here. You can just scroll down to the bottom where you will find Chrome Web Store. So just go in and click on that. And then from here, we basically want to install Grammarly. Now, it could be, you know, as you can see here, one of the um, main apps that you will find in front of you. But if you don't find it, you can just simply search for it from here. So just go in and search for Grammarly and you will find it right away. So once you find Grammarly AI writing in Grammar Checker app, click on Add to Chrome and click on Add Extension. This is not going to only work for Docs now, but you know, in our Google Chrome, uh, it's just going to be automatically there for us and it's just going to help us with our tasks. So you can feel free to go to the uh, extensions sections. I was about to say apps, uh, but we can just click on that and we can just pin it. This way it's always going to be visible and it's easy for us to access. And if you don't have an account, you can feel free to create one from this screen, which should open up automatically once you actually uh, install the extension. So I'm just going to sign up with my account for free and we can just go in and continue. So it could ask you um, a few questions about yourself like you can find here. So I'm just going to answer them uh, real quick here. And then here you can also select the apps that you would like to use it with. This is not going to affect whether it's going to be available in them or not. It's just, you know, giving them an idea as well. So just go and select whichever one that you actually want. I'm just going to select Google Docs for the time being. Click on Next. And then from here, I'm just going to continue to Grammarly with the free version. But it does obviously have a pro one. Uh, and you can see the differences between them. So just go and continue which, with whichever plan that you want and click on add to Chrome one more. No, I mean, it's already added, I believe. So it's not going to make a difference. But anyways, from here, we can just go ahead and exit out of here. We don't need that screen now. And if we just go back to Google Docs, so you can open up your Google Docs from also the apps here. If you just scroll down, you'll find uh, Docs here. So once you open this up, we can just basically, uh, I'll just create a blank document. And then I got from chat GPT, a sample text, just so we can, you know, try things out with Grammarly. Uh, now you can actually see from the bottom right, we can already see Grammarly uh, right there. And it does actually show you some, you know, features here. I'm just going to skip all of this. And I'm just going to paste in the text that I just copied from chat GPT, like so. And now you can notice right away, because Grammarly is now installed, whenever we see um, an error here, I asked chat GPT to, you know, create some errors so we can see and test whether Grammarly is going to detect it or not. And as you can see here, did you see that new fountain over there? Obviously, we have an error here. So you can just basically click on that. And we can just go in and select the proper um, meaning or grammar. Uh, for us and here as well you can actually see that this is an error and it's also going to allow you to change it now in here we can just go and click on it and select the proper one for us for example for the it's part now you can't really change the entire sentence because that's a pro future but you can change word for word so for example this it's is the problem so we can just go and change it uh, itself or we can just go in and click on this one and see which suggestions are available. And if you just go ahead and click on the bottom right, you also will find the open Grammarly option, which is just going to show you more, um, you know, a review or an entire uh, summary of what's happening. So correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery, and so on. It's just going to show you all that is actually needed in here. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.